Wicked members protested for two months, calling for a remit. After waiting almost four years for the process to start, it was only after threatening to withhold midterm exam papers the union received an offer on April 23rd. But relief quickly turned into frustration when they saw what was on the table. We had rejected the, uh, the remit uh, in May. We had rejected that remit of 2%, uh, which, uh, you know, which was for the period 2014-2017. Negotiations then started falling apart. We met with the principal in June, uh, somewhere in July. We didn't hear anything. We wrote her, and she said that she asked the Minister of Finance for a meeting because there seemed to have been a tussle between the CPO and the Ministry of Education as to who was really in charge. They were told as Corporation Seoul, the Finance Minister is in charge of the process. A meeting was carted in August between him and the campus principal. But that meeting did not happen. Now Dr. Indira Rambasad says they're back to square one. She was that over 500 Wigat members have already started pushing back. Basically, a shutdown of all campus and systems operations. You know, so uh, that included a shutdown of the library, the bookstore, marketing and communication, student services, um, you know, the Division of Facilities Management, offices of the principal. These are all part of the October outburst, but next month, their action intensifies. There are going to be final exams again starting in, uh, in uh, December, and many of the exam papers are due in November. We've also called for members not to participate in graduation activities and prize giving activities. Graduation is at the end of the month. They're prepared to stand down once an appropriate remit is offered, noting that the Mona and Kefal campuses are presently working for higher salaries. Dr. Rampas had quoted the UE's latest council report, which reveals that there's been a 22% attrition from academics. Contacted for comment, Professor Bell Antoine admitted the situation was worrying. Of course, I must be concerned. Any principal serious about quality assurance and about the development of the country will be concerned because the reasons for the reduction in academic and other staff, permanent academic staff, and staff, of course, is not just teaching, but it's also research and so on. The reason for that is because of financial constraints. The principal could not comment on the impact of Wigat's action thus far, but promised to meet with them on Friday when they protest. The UE St. Augustine Guild of Students President Ashwarya Miraj also says the council has no comment, but says they're committed to advocating for the students' best interest in this situation. Pavitko Polchan, CNC3 News.